So my takeaway from last quarter's market report in Northern Westchester is basically two things. There's lots of inventory coming on. It's just not staying on. And prices may not be up as much as everyone thinks. Stay tuned, I'm gonna dive in. So I know you guys are super excited to dive in to lots of nerdy data about Northern Westchester. These are the five metrics that we bring to the table for our quarter reports. And again, Northern Westchester for us is Briarcliff to the south, up to the top of the county from east to west. So the first stat is new listings. The second stat is active listings. Uh, throughout the whole quarter, how many listings were actually active. The third stat is the average days on market. Uh, the fourth stat is uh, the amount of closed sales for the quarter. And then the last stat, which everybody always wants to know and they wait till the end of the video, is the average sales price and how it compete, competed with the year before. So let's dive right into the first stat, which is new listings 2022 versus 2021. So there's a lot of talk in the media about the lack of inventory. And one thing we can say is that new listings are down a little bit. Uh, they're not as down, as much down as they were, let's say in January compared to the January prior. But this month, or sorry, this quarter, uh, we're basically down about 12%. So we saw 633 new listings this quarter compared to 722 the last quarter. Uh, active listings, it's almost the same, although we started off this year at a very low number, much lower than we did the quarter one of 2021. So we actually saw a 30% drop in active listings at the end of the quarter. So March 31st, there were 333 homes for sale in Northern Westchester and March 31st, 2021, there was 477. So yes, we talk about this every week. Buyers have less options with active listings. The third metric is the average days on market. So if you took all the homes that went pending for the first quarter, you averaged up how many days are on the market compared to the same exact exercise for the first quarter in 2021, we have year over year quarterly average days on market. That's a mouthful. So the days on market average for 2022 was down 25% from 2021. So that was 73 days on the market in 2021 and 70, uh, sorry, 55 days on the market in 2022. So that's a 25% drop. Again, supply and demand, supplies down, demands up, homes sell quicker, buyers are more decisive. And they're also, in my opinion, waiving a lot of things in the contracts and bickering less with sellers about this repair and that repair and deals are simply moving faster. So that's my opinion on the days on market or decrease, I, say, I guess you could say. So now let's talk about home sales. So the sales number for 2022 was 499. So that's actually down 15% than 584, which was the number in 2021 for the first quarter. Now, typically a decrease in sales volume is not a good sign for sellers, but keep in mind, we have much less inventory. We have 30% less inventory now heading into quarter two. So it's not a big surprise that sales are down. And if you think about it, the fact that they're only down 15% compared to really they should be down 30%. So they would uh, weigh out with the lack of inventory really shows we're still very much in a seller's market and more homes are selling than really are coming on. So the number, everyone wants to know what's up with sales prices. Are they up? Are they as up as the media says they are? So what we do is we average out all of the home sale prices in Northern Westchester for the first quarter. So everyone that's actually closed, we compare it to the same exact thing, quarter one, 2021. And you have to understand about Northern Westchester is that there are some fixer upper one, two bedroom cottages that sell in the 300s and we have $9 million estates. So this is a very broad strokes number that takes a wide view at the general market in home sales in Northern Westchester. And one thing I can say is that they are up 8%, not 15%, not 20%, and definitely not 30%. And if you're a home seller, or you're a buyer looking at homes 
and a home doesn't have an offer on it in the first two weeks, it may not be a full ask offer. It may just be 5% under asking. If there has been not a single offer and 30 people have come through your house, the basics is, is that you're more than 10% overpriced. Buyers are simply uneasy about making low offers in a market like this. They think either the seller is unreasonable, they just don't understand the property, but they don't see the value in the price it's being marketed for. So again, more than two weeks, you're over 10%. Overpriced. So the average sale price, and again, I stick to the fact that it's 8% higher, but the average sale price was about 875. So first quarter, we're seeing lesser expensive homes on the market. They don't have pools, they don't have acreage. Um, a lot of the times the property is a little bit, what would you say, easier to digest, easier to understand, covered in snow. So these are the homes that we're selling. So the average is down a little bit, but you have to understand the average is higher than it was the same metrics in 2021, where it was 808,000. So we had an 8% increase. Thanks guys, I'm giving you a high five for getting through all this nerdy, nerdy real estate data with us. I mean, we love marketing, we love selling, we love uh, working with buyers, but the data is important and you gotta follow it if you're getting serious about selling or buying in today's market. So if you want a specialized, uh, report maybe for your school district that's really big up here knowing how the markets are moving in those uh, in that category uh, or for your zip code or for your township village anything just let me know text us email us uh, the information's in in the description and uh, we'll get that right over to you and we'd love to chat if you need anything in northern westchester uh, buy sell invest we're there